Hey guys, iPhone Helpings here, and this is a different video, it's not anything to do with the iPhone, it's actually to do with the Nook Color and the whole Android development scene about it. Um, if you haven't seen this, if you don't know, uh, the Nook Color can run uh, different versions of Android, and this wonderful man, Droid Samurai, he has created a tutorial um, on how to install the Honeycomb Preview on your, the internal memory of your Nook Color. Now, I'm having trouble getting it running. So she told me to make a video about me trying to install it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the post he said. And he said, there's only like two uh, different types of reasons that it could have not worked for me. Because I've tried it, uh, tried it quite a few times. So he said, go ahead and download the um, original files. So I'll go ahead and get the clockwork here. Oh, and just showing you, um, I have my Nook. Here, running a uh, fire mod. Don't get fooled by the honeycomb clock. It's a uh, CM7, the fire mod version. So it's doing that fine. And I have two micro SD cards, which are from the requirements. I have a class 4 8 gigabyte and a class 4 4 gigabyte along with my adapter. So um, he said, go ahead and get a uh, clockwork mod recovery. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and highlight. Oops, wrong button. I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this as quick as I can. All right, it's already there. So I'm gonna use my four gigabyte card for clockwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the one that corresponds to it. All right, it's downloading. So I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, clockwork is done downloading now. So I'll go ahead and open it up in WinRAR, as you can see. 4 gigabyte clockwork 0.1 x4 tar.gz so I'll go ahead and minimize chrome and I'm gonna go ahead and extract the file to my desktop I'm just gonna wait for that to finish and I'll get back to you when that's alright it's done downloading and I realized I probably shouldn't waste time because of YouTube's time limit so I already downloaded the other file and I've already extracted it so as you can see I have the clockwork mod image right here and I also have the honeycomb zip. So I'm going to go ahead back to Chrome and I'm going to go ahead and follow the steps. I've already done the first three steps. You know, format both cards, install one image, and unzip it. So I'm going to run win image as an administrator now. So I'll go ahead and open up a folder that I have it in. I'm going to go ahead and right click on win image and hit run as administrator. Go ahead and click OK. Now that it's open, we can go back to the steps. So now it says, select your mic, uh, choose disk, restore virtual hard disk on image on physical drive, select micro SD card, click OK, and then put uh, select the clockwork file. So I'm going to go ahead and click disk, restore virtual hard disk on image on physical drive. Oh wait, I didn't put in my SD card. Ha, ah, I'm dumb. Okay, I'm going to use my 4 gigabyte now for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my 4 gig micro SD card. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my computer. So let's just wait for it to appear and there it is. So go ahead and close it and that's just a pop up for like opening up the files. I'm going to go to disk, store virtual hard disk image on physical drive, select my micro SD card and click OK. And now that I'm on my desktop, I can find the image I had for... Oh, now you select all files. And then you find your image. Okay, there it is. 4 gig clockwork x4 for my 4 gigabyte card. Restore image, click yes. And I will get back to you when all right. that... And it's done burning one image to my SD, so I'm just going to go ahead and verify that by going to computer. And as you can see, it is called boot, and it has the files right there. So, now, we'll just follow the steps again. And close all that, and go back to Chrome. And now, I should... Okay, when it's done, close the image. Eject the first micro SD card. So you're going to go ahead and eject it. Wherever it is, right here. Eject USB reader. 
So now that it's safe to remove hardware, go ahead and close that. Close that. Now we're going to go ahead and take out my micro SD card. Go ahead and take out the 4 gig. Now, copy the file HCV4 EMMC 2nd edition to the second micro SD card. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my 8 gigabyte class 4. I'm going to go ahead and burn, put the zip for the second edition of Honeycomb on it. Or well, version 4, second edition. I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to pop up. So I can just go ahead and close that, the removable disk thing. Alright, now, actually, I probably could have used it. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to computer. I'm going to go to removable disk, as you can see. 8 gigabyte, it's completely empty. So go ahead and minimize Chrome, and I'm going to drag the honeycomb zip into. Oops, I right clicked it. Go ahead and drag it onto the SD card. I'm going to wait for it to finish, and I'll get back to you when it finishes. And it's done copying to my micro SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and eject it. Uh, once again, going down, right clicking, clicking, clicking. Now eject USB reader. Let's go save to eject. Go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and take it out once again. And now I'm going to remember that one is clockwork and one is honeycomb. So let's go back to the steps. And now, as you can see, Re okay, insert the first micro SD card and then reboot my Nook Color. It will boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Nook here. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. And I'm going to go ahead and place my Clockwork micro SD inside of it. You can see I now have it inside my nook. So I'm going to go ahead and close the door. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot my nook. I'll go ahead and click reboot and click OK. So reboot tablet. It's going. Alright. Um, and it should reboot now. So as you can see, it is now booting into Clockwork, as you can tell by the loading with the two skulls. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and look at the next step. Next step says to use the volume buttons in the Nook to select mounts and storage then press the next end button. So you're going to go ahead and navigate down into mounts and storage and click the end button. Now, use the volume buttons to select to select f to format system data and cache. Press the end bu button to format each partition. So system data cache. We're going to go ahead and do those in order. So I'll go ahead and click format system and then, yes, now we're just going to wait for that to finish because it's relatively short. As you can see, it's already done. So, system, now data. So, we're going to go ahead, scroll down, and select format data. And select yes. And I'll wait for that to finish. All right, data is now done. And now, cache. So we're going to go ahead and go down one more time. Go to select format cache. And yes. And it's done. So now, in the same menu, make sure system and data aren't mounted. So as you can see, it says mount system and mount data. Which, auto which means that it's not mounted because it's asking you to mount it. 
So it says, do not reboot. Eject the SD card out and then put in the S second SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Nook and take out the first micro SD card and put in the second one containing the actual zip of Honeycomb. So now, okay, now it says mount the SD card. So in the same place, we're going to click we're going to click N on mount the SD card. Now it says unmount SD card, so it's mounted. Now it says press the power button of the Nook to go back to the main menu. I'm going to do that. And now choose backup and restore and then press the N button. Now here's the problem. Here's another problem. You said backup and restore and then choose zip from SD card. But there is no choose zip from SD card in backup and restore. So I'm pretty sure he meant to say install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card. So I'm going to go ahead with that. And now it says use the volume button to select the HC V4 EMMC second edition dot zip. Press the M button and then wait until the installation finishes. So as you can see it's already there. The one uh, zip there. Oh you can't really see. Anyways I'm going to go ahead and click the N. And then, as you can see, yes, install. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And it's going to go ahead and start installing Honeycomb. So I'll get back to you when it finishes that. Okay, now, as you can see, it has already done through the process. It says, done, all finished, and install from SD card complete. Now it says, reboot your Nook color. So I'm going to go ahead and click the reboot system now in the menu. And it says rebooting right here. So I'm just gonna wait for it to reboot. And here's the problem. Here's the part where I may have a problem, or I may not have a problem. But most likely, I will have a problem. Knock on wood. <laughs> All right. Let's just see if it works out. Here's usually where it gets frozen. Wow. It just booted. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. I did get it to boot once before, when I had Honeycomb running before. But it only booted once out of luck. And after that, it didn't want to boot anymore. So it seems okay. Seems like it has everything. But, let's go ahead and try rebooting it. And just see what happens. So would you like to shut down, okay? And we'll just try powering it up again. Loading. Loading. Android. Oh, told you. As you can see, it has gotten frozen. And now, well, my neck shut down. Uh-oh. Now my, now my, oh, nope, forget it. Let's try it again. Is Android and it has successfully frozen itself again. We'll try one more time, but this time I'm going to take out that micro SD card. He didn't say in his tutorial to take out the micro SD card, but that is what I'm going to try now. Let's go ahead and set this down and open the door and eject this micro SD card here. As you can see, I've taken it out. It is empty. Let's go ahead and try booting it up one more time since it is booting off it internally. It shouldn't need an SD. Let's go ahead and try one more time. So, loading. Android. It has frozen once again. So, this is my ongoing problem. 
whenever I install Honeycomb, it usually will just freeze at the green text where it says Android at the bottom and the flashing little underscore. It'll freeze there. And I have gotten it to boot once before, like you just saw, I got it to boot once. Except if it boots once, it doesn't do anything else after that, it's kind of useless. So, let's try this one last time. Let's just see it. And it's frozen again. So that concludes my problem with installing 3.0 Honeycomb. Preview version 4 on the Nook color. So, Droid Samurai, hope you get to see this. And this is my problem.